Okay, so in this week's video, we're going to get into mastering accountability and how to take ownership of your actions. Now, none of us are good at this at the very beginning, and at times I'm still pretty bad at it. But it's something that you need to try to get your head around if you want to get anywhere in life. And as I'm getting better at being more accountable to myself and other people, now I'm starting to make the progress that I've been struggling to make over the past few years so let's get into some tips on it so the first tip in mastering accountability is to take responsibility uh mastering accountability is to recognize and take responsibility for your actions accepting responsibility for mistakes allows you to learn from them and move forward so the next tip I've got for you here is to set goals and deadlines. You know, if you set clear goals and deadlines, it helps you stay focused and accountable. Write down whatever goals and deadlines you might have and track the progress regularly. So tip number three in this is to be proactive. Anticipate potential problems and take steps to address them before they become bigger issues. Being proactive shows that you are taking ownership of the situation. So number four in this is to communicate openly. Good communication is essential for accountability. Be honest and transparent with others about your progress, challenges and successes. Number five, and this is one that people struggle with a lot and something that I do tend to struggle with or did a lot in the past, and that is to learn from feedback. Feedback is an opportunity to learn and grow. Be open to feedback from others and use it to improve your performance. Tip number six in this is to follow through. Keep your promises and your commitments. If you say you're going to do something, Make sure you follow through on your word and indeed do it. And the final tip I have for you in this video is to reflect and adjust. Take time to reflect on your progress and adjust your approach as needed. And be willing to make changes and adapt to new situations to stay accountable. So there you are guys, there is the tips for this week's video. And you're going to get them in the shorts as well throughout the week hit daily but I would like you to come back and check out these longer form videos because you get a little bit more of an insight into the thought process in a lot of these videos so uh, yeah accountability it's one of these things that again as I said at the start uh, you're not going to start making any progress until you're fully accountable to yourself and the people around you and there's a few things that I would kind of digress into on this subject but I'm not going to do that there. It's going to be something that comes out in a later video. But uh, a lot of people, whenever they think in accountability, they never really think about themselves. It's more or less other people around them. Uh, they're expecting people to keep them accountable. But once you get to that place where you can stop pointing fingers at other people and actually, you know, instead of pointing the finger forward at somebody, start pointing your thumb back at yourself once you get to that place and you're keeping yourself accountable and you kind of get into that mindset of if something's not going right in your life, you start to kind of default into, you know, holding yourself responsible for anything that's not going right in your life and, uh, Yes, that is a, a deep, deep topic that should be a video of its own at some point. Uh, that's probably the one part of this video that somebody's going to have a problem with. But uh, it is what it is. You know, you, you, what's going on in your life most of the time tends to end up on your own shoulders, whether you want to admit to it or not. And I know people's going to take that on the places where oh, if someone's in this situation and they didn't choose to be there of course I understand all that sort of stuff but you know when bad things happen when you look back and look over your choices you tend to discover that you know uh, maybe months years before something happens to you and you're accusing somebody else of doing it you'll start to see uh, steps and decisions that you made that actually ended up taking you to that place but uh, again that's a video another video for another time so i hope these tips 
helped you if they did please feel free to let me know in the comments below this video and uh yeah i'll talk to you on the next one